Epic Busters about microseconds. Today, we can see details that are normally invisible to us, made possible by high-speed recording, a technique that had to be invented first. It all began in the 1930s in the USA. A professor of electrical engineering, Harold Edgerton, conducted research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he invented a special flash that lights up several times within a second. In 1937, he began a lifelong association with photographer John Milley, who used stroboscopic equipment to produce magnificent photographs, many of which appeared in Life magazine. Your eyes aren't designed for speed. You shoot a bullet through here. You won't even see it. You won't know anything about it at all. With Edgerton's new exposure method, suddenly 6,000 images per second became visible instead of the usual 250. Suddenly, we could see things that the human eye could not previously perceive of. Until he could be satisfied with his recordings, he often needed countless attempts and sometimes even years. Doc Edgerton, as he was commonly known, had a profound impact to his students showing them that they really had to try things out to fully understand them. The great pioneer was also known as Papa Flash, a nickname he acquired while working with undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau. So I got a telephone call that said there was some unknown man came in from, from France, a young Frenchman with a big nose and a, uh, named Jacques Cousteau. Nobody ever heard of him, but he's here. And could he come up and talk to you about underwater photography? Well, I said, sure, I'll talk to anybody. His work was instrumental in the development of sonar and deep sea photography. The custom design equipment he provided Jacques Cousteau was used in searches for shipwrecks like the Britannic and in the exploration of other underwater mysteries including the Loch Ness Monster. The short documentary, Quicker in a Wink, directed by George Sidney, introduced Doc Edgerton demonstrating strobe photography. Introducing Dr. Harold E. Edgerton of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. His stroboscope light, my friends, is really something. A Hollywood hit, Quicker in a Wink, won an Academy Award for Best One Reel Shorts in 1940. He received many awards for his contribution to photography and science with pictures that are still considered both astonishing and influential until this day. Although the doctor did not consider himself an artist, but an engineer, his photographs adorn art museums worldwide, and he is considered the father of modern and high-speed photography. Now this picture is a, was a fizzle. Uh, I normally throw away all my bad negatives, and I was just about to throw this out, and I said, oh, well, I'll make a pic print of that. And it's down in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. <laughs> Many of his renowned images expose the license flow of movement too complex for the naked eye to perceive. In his most famous photo, Edgerton wanted to capture the moment a milk drop hits a surface and forms a crown. He worked for years to perfect his milk drop photographs, taking hundreds. One version featured in the first ever photography exhibition at New York City's Museum of Modern Art in 1937. In 1957, Harold Edgerton captured the perfect round milk crown. He had worked six or seven years perfecting the splash of the milk drop picture. The milk drop coronet became one of the most iconic photos of the 20th century. Our pick buster.